All right, in order to simplify this expression, what we first need to do is multiply everything together and then simplify stuff at the end. Um, first thing we're going to do is deal with this square right here. So if we're squaring this expression 6 minus 3 root 2, now what that's going to look like is this. So I'm just squaring is just multiplying it by itself. So I'm going to multiply this by itself. And then this step right here, I need to make sure that I, I when I'm multiplying these, I'm foiling these terms. So multiply this 6 times a 6 to get 36. And then the 6 times negative root 3, or negative 3 root 2 is negative 18 root 2. And then multiplying this negative 3 root 2 by the 6 is another negative 18 root 2. And the negative 3 root 2 times the negative 3 root 2 gives us a positive 9 root 4. Just so I'm remembering when we do that, that last operation here, so we're multiplying this negative 3 root 2 by this negative 3 root 2. Um, we multiply the stuff on the outside, so the negative 3 and the negative 3 give us this positive 9 right here. And then the root 2s, um, what we do is we're multiplying the, the 2s together inside the radical to get this 4. All right, so let's simplify this up here. We got this uh, 36, and then uh, these two root 2s here, this negative 18 root 2 uh, twice, together that will give us negative 36 root 2. And then this last term, this 9 times the square root of 4, uh, what I'm going to do is simplify the square root of 4. That's just a 2, so that's plus 9 times 2. And then, uh, well, instead of 9 times 2, I'm going to replace that 9 times 2 with an 18 just to make things faster here. And then the last step is all I need to do is put this uh, 36 and 18 together because they're like terms. Getting uh, 54 for 36 plus 18 minus 36 root 2.